Oh God. You dirty little liar. I'm sorry, I, I can explain. Explain how you didn't invite us to your slumber party? Jackie, I can't stop this car. My mom's almost home. You know I couldn't invite you. I had to pretend to be a geek. Oh, sweetie, you aren't pretending anymore. You're a geek. Weird, socially awkward little geek. My mom gets off at 8. It is now 8.10. Did you have a geeky time reading your geeky comic books, playing your geeky board games, and just sit around and soak up each other's geekiness? You're the one who made me this way, so that you could use me for your 8th grade revenge. <laughs> God! See, at least Ruby and I know who we are. You try to act like you know what you are, but you don't! You're like, I'm popular, I want to be a geek, I want to be popular again, I want to be a geek again! Ugh. You know what? It's not my fault you're, like, obsessed with me. What? Oh, no she didn't. See, that's the thing with you geeks. You think that no one notices you, when really, they do. They just don't give a crap about you. Take Eugene Farwinkle, for example. He broke up with Ruby, and guess what? He still doesn't want to go to Comic-Con with you. So why are you messing with Ruby, Lori? I'll tell you why. Because you're a geek. You're a freak. Here. Want a prize. And I want my superhero shirt back. I want my superhero shirt back. 